Epic Maniacs, welcome back to another Monday sit rep. Uh, we got an awesome lineup this Monday, partially because the Seahawk is back on pre-order, but also we have a ton of new brick arms on brickmania.com right now, including weapon packs, some gold weapon packs, Ooh. the awesome overmolded M2019. One of my favorites. We've got a bunch of new like blaster pistols and packs, another Russian pack, I want to say another modern combat pack. So go ahead and check out the brick arms supply or the new releases category on brickmania.com. Scroll through all of those. Stock up your, your spacemen. And spacemen. Conquer the galaxy. <laughs> that's the, that's the uh, title to your work in progress film. Spacemen. 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 Conquer the galaxy. Conquer the galaxy. The work in progress. You'd watch that, right? I'd watch that, depending <laughs> on how the production value looked. Even if it was terrible, it might be better, especially, actually. Especially if it was terrible. Co-star. Conquer the galaxy today with an uh, assortment of brick arms. Yes. Conquer the galaxy today with an assortment of brick arms. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. other, other than that, we also have uh, these two artillery pieces back. So this is the uh, ZIS-3, right? Is that what it is? Zeiss. Zeiss. Yeah. ZIS. ZIS-3, 76 millimeter divisional gun, and then the M305 millimeter howitzer. Both of those are straight restocks, so they're shipping right now and back on brickmania.com. Awesome. Got it. The other one that is not a pre-order and is just back and available is the minifig of the month. Where is he at? Which you have mixed in with the, the Seahawk crew. <laughs> he's just hanging out there, okay? He's just chilling. Um, yeah, he's back. Mm -hmm. another, another round. Yes. Um, how fast did he go the first batch? The, the first one usually know. moves quick, but we'll it's have quick. more available. So, so the first be batch sold out. Online. Here's the next batch up. We'll see how long they last. Mm -hmm. um, get yours now. Yes, the, the Red October minifig of the month. Excellently unique. Make sure to check out his full review video up on this same channel right now. Open it up. Right at this moment. Side by side. Mute one of them. Watch. Top, bottom. Turn your head. You can see both. Easy. Side. Whatever. Watch it after this. I don't know. Enjoy that video because it's awesome. Another video actually that's still in progress is the Seahawk video. Dan has sat down and talked about it. There's a ton to go through on this thing. Uh, printed elements, no exception. But we still have to get approval from Sikorsky. So once we get that approval, it will be out and available. Um, hopefully some of you who have, who have put it together are, are looking forward to that because uh, he definitely does shed some insight uh, in, into all the cool stuff that uh, goes into this model. So before we get into that though, let's go to the crew because it is what is a helicopter without its crew? It is a crazy crew, dog. Yeah. So this is this. There was a lot of fun um, researching. Um, Dan was actually emailing and talking back and forth um, with some people that are very closely involved with this helicopter. Mm -hmm. um, so that was cool to see uh, get that input and um, just get the most accurate figures that we could possibly create, along with a most accurate helicopter mm -hmm. with that. Um, check out that perfect caliber scar. This is exclusive to the kit for right now. Um, you know, our, we're, we're really maxing out our perfect caliber production right now, so we're just trying to get to everything as quick as we can. Um, so we're saving some cool ones for kits right now. Maybe down the road it'll yeah. trickle out into the public. There's nothing that's like off the list, you know? We're not, right. we're not holding anything back. Uh, we're, we're it's more so just what do we have. We can, yeah. Right, exactly. Um, so yeah, cool, uh, you know, uh, printed helmet. Uh, yeah, there's so many different things. Check out that helmet. Um, in-house created, 3D printed, and then UV printed on top of that as well. Um, there's, I mean, there's nothing else like that out there. So mm -mm. it's cool. It's cool that we're able to uh, to uh, make one, let alone uh, enough for a whole batch. So yeah, it's uh, we're we're working on ways to dial up production, and uh, this is sort of the seeing if it's feasible. Essentially, is what these are. So someday we'll get you know, bigger uh, production levels with these. Um, just a matter of time, really. Yeah, plus we understand that kits like this, I mean, they're an investment, and, and they are awesome, and they are uh, uh, elite levels of detail, but at the same time, that you know what comes with them is a, is a heavily incurred cost. Um, and so we want to make sure that there aren't any cut corners. Right. Um, and, and especially with, with these helicopters in 2020, you know, Dan has been super excited about these builds and uh, he doesn't want to compromise. And so that's kind of the way that they've right. been marketed is, you know, if you want something that's top of the line, great. If not, you can check it out here on the videos. And there's a ton of development and research time that goes into creating all this stuff. And it's these, these big kits really help uh, kind of fund that and mm -hmm. make that all possible. So it's, this is kind of paving the way for sim like smaller things that maybe by themselves would be really hard to get into. So yep. it's, it's been a lot of fun designing, researching everything, this whole process. So thank you for helping us out. Thank you for helping us get this far. Such a cool kit. Very, very well said. Seahawk, back available on pre-order. Um, okay, so let's jump into some of our mentions here. Oh, 
couple more things that we didn't have. So we have the US Navy officer in dress whites. Those are available uh, in, in three different flesh tones. Um, one of the figures that will probably be updated sometime in the future to include the, the female variant, but right now uh, is just in the mail. So we'll, we'll look for an update those in the future. We're, we're getting to them. Clearly you guys have seen the pattern that we've had with the dress uniforms we released. Our plan is to do that for that as well. Um, we just got to get around to it. Um, and then we also have the Modern Russian Special Forces minifig of the month back as well for a limited run. So go ahead and scoop some of those up, especially if you guys have gotten your hands on the hind, BMP, any of the awesome... That was a fan pole, wasn't it? I think it was. Might have been, yeah. yeah. We've done a lot of those, so it's yeah. kind of hard to remember. <laughs> but at the same time, the alligator, uh, all that kind of stuff, um, you know, pick it up, stock it full of, uh, of Modern Russian Special Forces. I believe there is still a 10-figure limit on that, though. Yeah. So... Got to do what you got to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, so that is everything then that is back on BrickMania.com right now. Once again, I'll do my little plug here for the Wounded Warrior fundraiser. Remember, our goal is to raise just over $6,000 by November 11th. We need your help to do so. Uh, and then we are going to be sending an LCAC uh, to the United States Navy. Legal purposes, those are separate, but re regardless of which, they both will do a lot of good. Um, so thank you for your help in that. Uh, those of you who had already contributed, uh, and please, those of you who are on the fence or thinking about it, uh, get involved. Uh, let's make this happen. Um, remember, we do have free shipping offers still going on right now, so that's $500 internationally, free shipping, $100 here in the States. Uh, and it's gift card season, so if you're looking, if you have a brick maniac in your family uh, who keeps talking about all these various things that they, they are super into, and maybe you're just kind of like, I don't know, he said he wanted a World War II plane, I can't remember what World War II plane though. Get him a gift card, get it up to that $100 mark, whatever, get him the free shipping, they can pick up what they want. Um, and then they don't have to worry about being like, oh, mom, huh, you know, I wanted a P40B, right. not a zero. So. Well, and especially, I, I know uh, people are probably saving their money to buy the exact kit they want. Right. Um, sometimes uh, the kit comes out and maybe you haven't saved, enough, uh, saved up enough cash. This would be the perfect way to get that gift card ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And then when that kit comes out, you'll have the extra little bit. Right yes. There. So holiday season's got to do got to do the plug for those because uh, it is an easy way to get people exactly what they want, uh, and then they're thrilled because you've mm -hmm. you've helped uh, help them get a little closer to their goal there. Uh, Speaking of sales, we do still have that November uh, Veterans Day sale plan for the 4th through the 11th, 15% off. Uh, you can save extras in stores as well. Uh, just check out our blog for more details there. Um, I talked a little bit about the brick arms we have up uh, right now on brickmania.com. Make sure to check those out under the new releases tab or in the brick arms section. Uh, and then finally, the vault. Uh, is going to return in January 2021. We're going to take a couple of months off here because we're producing some extra special stuff, including Lando's Randos coming at you on Halloween. Uh, there'll be a cool little promo though to get in on the first initial batches of those. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. We have some cool stuff planned for around the holidays. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of just getting started here. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be epic. I think we're going to do some live streams uh, when we're putting those figures together. Uh, so we'll be on YouTube here and there. Probably not acting serious or really answering oh, questions this, very this well. We'll just kind business, of mess man. around and build stuff. This is a designated <coughs> serious time. That's it. Should we do the uh, Should we do the horde leaders again this year? Yeah. Last year we did like the the general and the captain and the corporal and stuff. We, we can, just had we can some, make up some uh, some random stories. Some special ones. Okay, so we'll do that then. We'll we'll put some together and we'll we'll put them up on the blog. And so if you're one of the people who's able to get your hands on the. Uh, Horde leadership. <laughs> one of the one of the more uh, uh, ranking randos. Go that way. Uh, yeah. Go right. that way. That's exactly what I said. You'll uh, you'll get to feel a little extra special there too as well. Um, okay, so that does that, that is everything that I have on my list. Anything else you'd like to add? Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you soon. Yeah, we'll check in later this week.